What's up guys, Brady here, and today I'm gonna do a quick demonstration on rib stitching for an airplane. This is an elevator I've been working on, I'm about halfway done rib stitching it. I just learned how, and I'm just gonna pass this knowledge on to you. It's a very cool method, makes everything seamless, makes the, the seam seamless to get the smoothest surface possible. We're doing a 1946 Cruiser, Belenka Cruiser restoration. It's in the hangar next to me. And we've been at it for about a year, maybe a couple more years to go. So whether or not you're using this knowledge to do your own restoration or you're just interested in it because you love aviation, here we go. I've got four inch needle here. It's got a little bit of a curve at the tip. This is made specifically for this and a curved one as well. Might be using that scissors and the lace and we'll get started. I'm gonna do this one rib here. I've done three so far. I'm gonna show you from start to finish how to do one rib. The rest of them are the same. All the lacing that we do are gonna, it's gonna be on the edge of this cloth, either right on the right side of the right edge of it or the left edge of it. There's also the exact same thing on the bottom. And these markers, you can see for this particular airplane, for this control, we're doing three inch. It could be different for yours, but uh, the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how everything is, is tied and how it's actually stitched. First thing you're gonna wanna do is cut lacing to about twice the length of what you're gonna use. So let's say, you know, we're gonna go from here to here. We wanna make sure our, our lacing is two, maybe a little over twice the length, which is what I've got here. And here we go. First thing we're gonna do is thread this through the needle. Now you don't need to tie it or anything, just leave it, leave it like that. And we're gonna do our first hole right here. This is the leading edge, this is the trailing edge. So, and you can do this on the other side too. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be this side, it could be on the other side. This is just what I picked. We're gonna put a hole right here on our first measurement right next to the white tape and then we're gonna go right out the bottom in the exact same spot because these markings are also on the bottom. So everything on the bottom is gonna be the exact same. You just gotta take your time and see where it's gonna come through. There it is. There's a little bit of a curve, that's why it's angled. And we're gonna pull that through, all the way through. All right, there we go. Leave a little slack there. And then we're gonna come up from the other side. We're coming up this side, out, right next to that strip. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna pull that through. And that is step one. You can take the needle off for now if you want. And so we just have this, right? I'm gonna leave this side a little bit shorter, and now we're gonna do a square knot. So we're gonna go left over right. Okay, that's just what I'm doing first. I do left over right first, and we're gonna tie that down right there. Okay, and we wanna hold that, make it pretty tight. This airplane has a lot of play here between the, the uh, fabric and the rib, which is not always normal but uh, we'll pull it to about right there. Okay, so that's, that's gonna be good. And then now that we did left over right, we're gonna do right over left to complete the square knot. We wanna try to keep this tight as we're pulling it down. All right, there we go. Still gonna be some play there. This airplane's a little different. So some people are like, oh, it's not tight enough, but this airplane is different, I'm telling you. Then after that, we've got our square knot. We're gonna do a half square knot on each side of this knot. So I know that sounds complicated, but it's not. Take the needle, go to the left side of the knot, start pulling it through. Turn for me, there we go. And get that on there. All right, we're gonna pull that through. And that's gonna make a loop there, right on the left side. And then we're gonna do half knot. Just tighten that down, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing on this side of the knot with this part now. So we'll put our needle through the right side. It's gonna be the same deal. We wanna pull this part through. Okay, we've got our loop. Put this back through. And there's another half knot on that side. 
Okay. After that, we want to kind of slide everything out of the way and we want to hide it all. So we're just going to keep working that knot down into this hole. Boom. Knot's gone. And then we could put this in here and we're going to start to push the short end. This is the slack that we don't need. We're not going to be using anymore. We're going to push this into the hole with the back of our needle. As we start to push, we're just going to get this in there and hide it because we don't, we don't want to see it anymore. So as you get that going, you can just cut it here and that's going to help you not have to push as far in. All right. So I'm going to keep pushing in and it disappeared. That is the first stitch. Now we're going to move on to the next one. That's what we do for the first one. The next one's different. And the last one is also a little bit different. So after we did that first one, what I'm going to do is take this curved needle and this is always very helpful for finding the next one. So what we're going to do is get that threaded on there and then go down the same hole and you can kind of see where it's wanting to poke out and we want to get it in the right spot. There it is, right? That's our next measurement right next to the, the cloth. It's in the right spot. Start pulling it through. Make sure this, this can get caught on things when you're pulling it through too, like it could get caught on the back. So just be careful. All right, and that's coming all the way through. And then we can take the curved needle off. Now we've got it completely hidden here and we're started on the second one. Okay, so we'll go back to our four inch straight needle. And then what we're gonna do is go straight down into the same hole and out the bottom in the exact same spot. Keep pulling that down, but don't pull it all the way through. We're gonna leave a loop right here, okay? And then we're gonna come up the next side, make sure that it's gonna come out the right spot. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now, as that's coming out, what you want here is you want the bottom of this loop to be where the tension is. Like I can't pull that that's connected to this. So you want to hold this with your index finger and your thumb. Okay. This part's going to have slack, All right, That's the part that's hanging under. And then we're going to pull this needle up through this loop. All right got everything through now and then we're going to straighten that out right there now it's very important again the tension the part that has tension is the bottom part of this loop right and i'm just holding it what we're going to do now is take the top part do a clockwise little twist and that's going to make kind of an eight and then go right back down there so I know that looks, that looks complicated, but so I'll, I'll show that again. Okay. It's really not that hard. Once you get it though, again, take the top of this loop, do give it a little twist. You could go, you could come this way if you want, that might help. Give it a twist like that. You see how that makes an eight. Very important that you don't let go of that, that tension, the part with tension though, um, with your thumb and your index finger over here. And then come through here underneath it, pull that through. All right. And at that point you could just go ahead and drop the needle. You don't need it anymore, but you still don't let go with your thumb and your index finger over here and start pulling that tight. Okay. And once that gets pretty tight, you can start working that other loop out. Okay but you basically want to pull all that tight without hurting the controls because it is very easy to put too much tension and bend them. So it's kind of, kind of an art to it. Once you get going, you'll, you'll figure it out. And then after that, we just hide this knot again. So I'm just using the back of the needle to push the knot down in there. Okay. And then it's the exact same thing that we just did. And sometimes there's a lot more ribs in this and you just, you keep repeating that middle step that we just did. Um, and this one is pretty much the same. There's just one, one last thing we do to end it. All right. So we've got needle ready to go. 
Again, we're going down in here. You don't have to use the curved this time because I think the leading edge will not get in the way. You can just, just stick with this needle, try to figure out where the curve is angled once you put it in. It'll make it easier for you to find where it's gonna come out. Okay, so I can start to see it poking there a little bit. Right there, that's perfect. So the tip is starting to, to stick out right there. So then you should be able to just kind of just push it through. Just like that. Now we can pull that through. Remember that's coming all the way through. And then we're gonna go right down in here, right straight through the bottom. Same deal. Straight through the bottom and coming out the exact same spot on the other side, leaving a loop and then coming back up on this side. Just gotta make sure it's gonna come out in the right spot, all right? So I'm just trying to play with it until we get it in the right, right spot. There we go. That's close enough. All right, here we go. Here's the, that one part again. So make sure that none of this is twisted in here. All right, everything is on its own, not twisted up. And then hold the part with tension, which is this one. This one's not gonna have tension. This is where all the slack is at the other side of the needle. We want this one to be on the bottom. This, the loose part of the loop is on the top. Pull the needle through it. All right, we pulled the thread through. Keep pulling, keep pulling. We're gonna take our needle, make a clockwise loop with the needle, and then go through this part, the line that's coming across, just like that. I know it's really, it's hard to show and it's hard to, to explain. Um, it's one of those things that you really got to do it once and then it gets much easier. But uh, hopefully you get a good visual of how that works from this video. And then you just pull that through. Once that's through, you could take the needle off. Just don't let go of the, the tension that was on that loop. And just start working it down while we have that, we still have that loop, remember? So we're pulling it tight, pulling it tight, but that loop is still giving us some, some play to work with. It's not gonna be until we, we pull this through that the knot really forms and everything's tight. Just kind of put your finger there. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right, so last step. I know it's really, it, it is difficult and um, it is very difficult to pull. So what some people will also do is they'll wrap some tape around right here in their finger so that that lace isn't cutting through your hand if you're gonna be doing a lot of this. Now, the last thing, this is how we wrap up the rib. Just put the needle through here. We're just gonna do one more half loop. There we go. So to get that through. Now pull it through. And we're just making a half knot. Just one more half knot. That's all. Very simple. And that is it. After that, we just tuck the knot in and then we're gonna hide that thread in there just like we did at the beginning. So we'll take this, start to push it in there the back of our needle. I'm gonna go this way away from the trailing edge because I'll have more room to work with. And just cut this slack. We'll keep pushing it in. And there it goes, it's just released. That's it. Now we have a rib done. It's really cool to have a fabric airplane, amazing technology. Ours actually has wood wings, mahogany wood wings. How many airplanes have that? So really, really cool. And I'm excited to keep you guys updated on this 
Blanca Cruiser restoration. I've done a handful of videos now and I'll keep making them. We, uh, as we, as we get more things done, I'll be sure to give you updates. Speaking of getting things done, I'm going to keep going on this. I got three more ribs to go for this elevator. So thanks for watching. <laughs>